Welcome to the time-served Karen Takeover. In this case, we visit friend of the court silver fox Brian Nicholas, and he has his hands full with this full-grown Karen. Once they reach this stage, it is full-on blame, shame, and if you have dirty laundry, she will throw it. So please keep your hands and feet inside the box, and do not make any sudden movements, or she will strike. We do understand she is fighting for her son, however calling your mother a crackhead is probably not the correct approach in court. And I have it in multiple texts where I had tried multiple times to give, to take Michael back home to his mom. And every time I tried to take him back home, there was an appointment or she had uh, something going on in Rochester Hills or there was just excuse after excuse. So I did, I went to the court, I filed for a guardianship. And then on May 26th, um, Nicole had texted me at 1130 in the morning and asked me if she could come and take Michael to lunch. And I told Nicole, as long as she um, was not driving because she doesn't have a valid license and had a licensed driver and they wasn't, they weren't under the influence that she could take Michael to lunch. She didn't show up till after three o'clock. So I tried to stop the visit and she called the police and the police came out and I have the police report that they couldn't even talk to her. She was out of control. Even the officer Toma walked over and said, we can't even have a conversation with her. And I said, I understand. I said, and they want me to work with her. Officer Dittmore um, also asked me um, how old she was. I said, 33. He said, it's time she stopped blaming you for your past and take responsibility so let, for her. So let, me, so let me ask this. Did you appear before Judge Harrison on May 31st in her court? I did. I did in person. So it, yeah. And, and and are these things you talked about to Judge Harrison? You told her this this, this yeah. scenario as you're indicating to me. All right. Yeah. Because I know on that I, order, I may. Be, so and ma'am, do you have the order from the probate court, Ms. Cross? Have you gotten that order from May 31st? No, Your Honor. I haven't gotten nothing. You, do you have an address or or email yes. address where the courts can serve you? Yes. I yes. I don't know why. So you I'm haven't not seen it. So you. So you are not aware of the May 31st order from Judge Harrison and Sandra no. Harrison from the Macomb County Probate Court that suspends your parenting time and places your son in the care of your mother? I didn't know that until my brother-in-law told me that and gave me okay. a do you Do you know, are you aware that there's a July 10th hearing before Judge Harrison? I am Regarding aware. the ongoing guard. Okay, yeah. and you're planning to appear at that? So I'm you a, know about the July that, 10th. I would have appeared the first one. I didn't know it was really serious okay all right and mr bircham you appeared at the probate hearing before judge harrison as well is that correct uh i don't remember if i was at that one or not the no, man was mr Honor. bircham there okay no, so because so guys i'm going to cut to the chase why so if you were there mr bircham, i was going to say why did the judge not consider placement with the other bio parent and ma'am did you guys have a dialogue about mr bircham or no with judge harrison I'm sorry, I don't quite understand what you're asking me. Yeah, so honest. when you so so Mr. Bertram was not there in front of Judge Harrison on May 31st. Is that correct? It was just you only. Yes, yeah, yeah, just myself, Your Honor. Okay, and the, did the judge inquire as to why she wasn't potentially picking Mr. Bertram to uh, Michael with? I, I told uh, Judge Harrison the same thing that Mr. Bertram had told me, that he is not stable enough to have Michael in his home. He is in the process of moving, and um, that Mr. Bertram was okay with Michael staying in my care. And I'm assuming and he'll that, tell you the same okay. thing. And Mr. Bertram, your comments, is that true, not true? What are your comments? No, that's true. That's true. Okay. So, but you have a motion pending for custody right now in this court. Yeah, we did. Okay, so I filed a custody right away, emergency right away, just because mm -hmm. I heard what was happening and I didn't know if grandma wanted to okay. have him or not. I wasn't sure what was going on, but okay. I do know, like, me and her talk now. You know what I mean? So, like, I know okay. what's going on now. Okay. I just didn't know. So, I knew I had to get in and put okay, so, something in. Okay, so it's correct. Right now, you agree with 
grandma that she's the you feel yes. she's the appropriate place for your son. So let me ask. So Miss so Miss Cross, did you call CPS? So for CPS to call no, your mom. So no, so, so just as just as, so why why that. why do you why do you think CPS came to your approached your mom and contacted I her to take your son? I have a text message. The CPS worker's name is Michelle. Her name's Michelle, and she closed my case, and so did her supervisor. So why 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 do you think they went to your mom's house? to view it for a possible placement of your child because of the uh the charges that i'm facing but i got a very good attorney what what what, what are the charges that you're facing it's uh stalking harassment and a felonious assault okay but i go and i i have had michael wade little michael my son i have had so full physical custody of him for the last almost five I, years I, I got it but but obviously cps when they're going to potentially remove a child for abuse neglect case they look to a family for placement first so they approached your mom your mom's saying she didn't call them up they am, am i hearing that right ma'am you didn't they yes, called you and said did. we're looking for she placement called. of your grandson. the only person that's ever called her and my neighbor Okay, so let me, the last, so so ask so i haven't been able to see my son like i listen not good for him Okay, ma'am, I'm talking. Everybody, I understand you're passionate. So, ma'am, um, did you call CPS on your daughter? Or you're, you told me they contacted you and said they needed a placement of your grandson. Is, how did that happen? This time, yes. They contacted me on the 19th of May. And it was a Friday. It was about 5 o'clock at night. I can't remember the lady's name that called to me, but Kathy Thomas okay. was the one that came May 20th. I have called okay. CPS. It's Past, your honor but this was in the past where they closed the case and made me give michael back on april the 7th and then here we are a month and a half later again okay so so tell me about that in april your grandson came to stay with you for a while how did that happen i had him on march 20th um apparently there was a gentleman named jerome militello who's been in michael's life for a while since birth and he had michael for a visit and when he tried to take Michael back home to Nicole, Nicole wouldn't answer her phone, disappeared, and he tried to bring him to me. And I said, no, you're going to take him to the police station, and I'll meet you there. We need to get on record. I'm done. And I had him from March 20th until April the 7th. You on April the 6th, I have text messages. There was on April you wouldn't the give him back to me. She would not give him I, back to me, Your Honor. She would not. She, I, I, she, I know. She, she would not give him back to me. I begged her okay. to give my son back. I've had him what? for five years, Your how, Honor. How, me. I'm listening. My how mother many, has how left many? my son. My mother has left my son for years. She's only attended one of his birthday parties, this last one. Your Honor, it's only been me. His father's so how, how many? So, so how how many days after your son was taken to the police, did you call your mom and ask for him back? Every single day. And then she told me she was going to call the police and have me arrested for harassment if I texted her again. Every day I begged to get my son back. And she is correct. After I got out of jail and incarcerated, I had like to meet up with an attorney, get a good an attorney, criminal law attorney. I had to go set up my therapy and psychiatrist appointments that I already go to voluntarily. I had stuff to do. And she so, used okay. those words. So let me ask, let me ask a question. And if she's calling you so she's just supposed to be there to take possession of your son when you need him to be with her and no she literally you're ready to get him those, back no your honor she literally said those words to me on text message and i still have it where she said i am volunteering so you can like get your stuff together your legal stuff and i am volunteering and then she kept saying that and then when i would ask to see him or if him to come home she would like come up with an excuse like and i have it all on my text messages i don't delete anything okay. and i i i have had michael my son for the last five years just me and that gentleman jerome militello has been more of a father to my son than his real father his real father has not had nothing to do with him my son does not know who that man is. My mother, I appreciate her. I appreciate her taking care of my son when I was getting my stuff together, but I didn't need it to be this long. And neither did my son. It's affecting him. We're all we got, me and my son. I've had him for the last five years. I don't plan on giving up or stop fighting for my child. I won't. 
So, so where, what court are your charges out of? Roseville. Okay. And what are the conditions right now of your bond? I'm just on bond. I call every Monday, check in, and um, I just do what my attorney tells you're me. You're not on. You're not on. You're not on tether. You're not. You don't no, have PPOs or restrictions. No, Obviously, you I'm probably not. have restrictions about contacting the alleged victim. Yeah, I don't know. Who who is who is the charges in regards to a, an ex or a relationship or who? His mother. Who's That's mother? why all of this is happening because his mother, my ex's mother, put her hands on my son. I don't have to look, Michael. I don't. I use the gentle parenting thing. Like, and you're, you're not. You're not talking. Are you talking, Mr. Bertram's mother, or a different no. ex's mother? It's it's why I, I'm all this criminal stuff in Roseville. I'm facing is because of somebody I was dating this past summer. His mm -hmm. mother. She put her hands on my son, like how. She put her hands on my son, like she whooped my son. I don't even whoop my son. So I immediately got my son and as much stuff as I can because we stayed there for 29 days because my neighbor, it's been a lot of issues, but I always make sure that Michael is somewhere safe. I went there and the second that I, I told her like, you're never going to put your hands on my son again and no more of my car. I got to go in my car. She called the cops and, and they impounded my car. I was unaware of my license being suspended. I was told it was restricted. I couldn't drive past 10 or before 6 a.m. Okay. okay. So let me, so let me ask this and I'm not trying to start a further fight here. So ma'am, are you, are you against your grandson going back? To his mom's what are your thoughts about what you guys are going to say so you guys as a starting point i can't over undo the the order right now of judge harrison she's she's above me on the food chain she's a judge so right now she entered a guardianship order terminated ma'am your parenting time on a temporary basis pending the july 10th hearing before judge harrison but ma'am let me ask this what is your feelings in the long run regarding are you going to talk to judge and say you think your grandson is better with you are you open to him returning to his mom's or do you think mom has some issues she has to confront? And you're speaking to me, correct, Your Honor? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. For I sure, believe Anna. that Michael's best interests right now are to stay with me. And the reason why I say that I is a, like, <laughs> a, because Jerome, I, I do believe that she should be able to visit Michael at one point. I do believe that. But right now, um, we told the CPS worker, Ms. Polino, that we cannot be the people that do the visitation, that the court will have to appoint somebody, um, for one. I for want two, my son. Michael, like, these are two people that don't have no um, rights. Like, he doesn't have rights. So, he shook a baby so, almost to death. He almost shook a baby up. to death. But this woman is just four years clean off of crack. Look at her history. I don't have, I'm, I'm not on drugs. So, I just so have a short Just view. a second. Please, sir, so why don't is, take my son is, from me and give him to these people. You, stop. Please. Are, you, you, have to, you have to listen this to what man, I'm saying. I, you have to like, hear me out. Please hear my voice as a single mom who has tried so hard. My boy is so, perfect. So let me ask this. So why, uh, why is it okay for you? Not like your, let me ask, ma'am, stop. When I calm down, take a breath. I cannot. Nothing I'm not is, taking care nothing of this is, child by myself. None of these two people who have no rights to my child. When I reach out for help, when I'm actually having a hard time in a correct way, that's when you should volunteer. Not when I need them the most. Me and my son. So let me have ask this, Jake. So, so stop. Let me ask a couple of questions. Was your mom in collusion with this gentleman who took your son to the yes, police station that's in her April? Best friend. That's how I know him. That's her best friend. She used to visit no, him in prison. They, they left so, all of so that out. Stop. They left all of that no. out. Stop. They so, left all stop. Of that so, out. so, so they just came up with some scenario where he said, I can't get a hold of Miss Cross. I'm going to go to there the police go. station, come meet me and pick. So, you're saying this is all a calculated I know conspiracy. It's creepy, but they're, so, they're, 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 stop. Yeah, stop. Guys, if you guys can't listen to me, ma'am, and take a breath, then I'm going to figure what is it like when you're not in a courtroom? Because if you can't take a pause, and want to talk over me and everyone else, then what does that say about behavior? I may assume that, like you said, you're facing it. Stop. You got a bunch. Let me tell you what, you got a bunch of charges that aren't related to your mom or Mr. Burton. 
I understand that. Clearly but my, going, right? I never ever left my son. Not uh, never ever. Michael, yes, ma'am, listen. I, you, left. If you're, my mom has left. I'm trying to years. make. I'm trying to make a point of the law, but you're not listening. So, why I, is it okay for your mom? Stop. Why is it okay for your mom to be available to help you when you got to get lawyers and stuff? this legal stuff, but now she's a crack addict, horrible person who's not good enough to have your son. I said that. I do you understand the contradiction there? I do understand that, Your Honor. And can I respond? I yeah. said that I appreciated her, but at that same time, and I have all the text messages where I can go and print it out if I have to, I never wanted her to keep Michael longer than that. And whenever she did ask me, it was literally like she already knew that I had that appointment. Why, I had why did you... Why did, think she wants to take your son from you oh, why do you think her I, mom wants to take your grandson a, it's a meal ticket for her she did the same th same thing that she's gonna do to my son to me when i was four or five and my my son's father can vouch for that she puts them on pills gets them a social security check and then she goes back on her drugs i'm so, not doing so, that i don't okay, even vaccinate but, my child but but ma'am you can ask the cps worker your mom said she didn't call cps they called her the cps worker told me that the only people that's ever called CPS on me is my mother. That's well, they we will not know. tell you. I that. don't know what they, the CPS lady she's talking to because I have. Well, a well, well, let me tell you what. If the CPS lady says, uh, okay. Can okay. I see my son? So guys, like, this is not healthy for him or me. Ma'am, are you listening to? Are you listening to me? I am not a judge. She had to take herself judge? off the child registry to get this happen. She okay. had to take herself off of All the All right, registry. so guys, ma'am. If, if you if you don't listen, I'm going to mute you guys so I can talk because I'm going to make my recommendation. You guys will have 21 days to object. You'll get the objection procedure along with my recommendation. Add an objection here. The Honorable Terry Lynn Dennings may uphold my order or change all. Of Judge Dennings is the boss of your case. Right now, you have a jurisdictional issue. You have concurrent jurisdiction between the family judge and the probate judge. Now, that's legal terms. But right now, as a referee, I'm not. I don't have the power to undo a judge's order. So Judge Harrison's order right now stands until July 10th. You see her. So my advice is to, if I, and I don't usually give advice, you need to appear before Judge Harrison and make your case to Judge Harrison because right now she is in control and has exercised power over your case and issued a May 31st order that says no parenting time. You need to show in front of Judge Harrison on the and talk to her about that. I'm adjourning this hearing to the next week to see what Judge Harrison does, which is jurisdiction and says, only handle it and we're good to go. She, she may say, I'm upholding the guardianship and the custody to be sent over to me. So she may say, I'm going to relinquish it. Family court, you deal with it. Judge Dennings is uh, the one who should handle it. Or she may say, I'm guardianship. I want the custody case over here. And that's going to be for her to decide on July 10th. So I'm going to adjourn this hearing to the week after July 10th to July 17th. So Judge Harrison can make a ruling of whether she's going to hear it, whether she's going to uphold the guardianship. If not, she may set a hearing on the guardianship um, and then she'll decide if she wants the custody case assigned to her so long as the guardianship is in order. Or she may confer with Judge Dennings of whether she's going to send it back. But right now, I don't have the power to undo the order of a judge. Can you I have to talk phone? to judge. I can't undo the judge's order that says right now none unless you and your mom work out some kind of time. That's what so I mean. She stop. said that. Listen, listen. But right now you guys are so hostile. It's probably not a good idea to come into See, contact with each other. I you're don't end want up no law enforcement. With her. I just want to give my son a hug, okay. like and let him know I'm not going away forever. Like I'm going to okay. leave him like his dad. She wants. If she wants to let you guys talk respectfully, take up your mom on the phone. Answer the phone. The phone. Okay. She won't answer the phone. Guys, and then it's stop. Right I'm gonna I'm gonna make my recommendation, and you have we have 21 days to object and get in front of the judge. Maybe you want to do that. Objecting is your right. Yeah. I don't get mad. The judge doesn't get mad, and maybe you need one of you should object and get before Judge Dennings. Otherwise, you for sure need to be in front of Judge Harrison on July 10th. I so my rec is as, stop. Judge Swatowski that you know, did that. You Your don't Honor, have a judge. That's but a guy, paper stop. that I got. Just, guys, stop talking when I talk. None of this makes sense. Or I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mute you, guys. Your former judge, Judge Mark Swatowski, retired a year ago. A new judge took the bench. That is Terry Lynn Dennings. Your judge is Terry Lynn Dennings. You can Google her. You can look her up. 
She's a very light, the nice paper lady. that Michael gave me has Matthew Schakowsky on it. So that was from a year ago that he gave me at 1130 at night drunk. Guys, your your current taste right now is Terry Lynn Dennings. Mm. So I don't know what happened a year ago, but your Judge Sandy Harrison is the probate judge. We will send you, this is what I'll do. If you say you don't have a copy of this order, I will send you a copy of this order dated May 31st from Sandra Harrison pursuant to probate number 2023-245548-GM. I'm going to send you, ma'am, a copy. Sir, do you have a copy of this order? Yeah, I guess I do. Mom, can I see my I'll send you. I'll send you one too. Stop. I'm talking. All right. So one. Plaintiff's motion regarding custody is adjourned to Monday, July 17, 2023 at 1.30 p.m. For the reason that there is currently a hearing scheduled for July 10, 2023 before the Honorable Sandra A. Harrison in the Macomb County Probate Court, pursuant to case number 23-245548-GM, a May 31st, 2023 order of the Probate Court, placed the party's minor son, Michael, age four, is that correct, or five? He'll be four, right? Okay, age four. In the care of maternal grandmother, Tamara Fugat. And if I said that wrong, I apologize. Fugate, I'm sorry, guys. I, for some reason, I'm having a hard time with that. I apologize. Fugate. Um, and suspended parenting time with natural mother. Well, I'm not understanding. Two. When the probate court the the probate court talks in terms of natural mother natural father that's just a terminology they use for probate uh, probate proceedings. No, I and so if you look at the order when you when you see the order so when you see reasonable visitation with NF that means natural father. When you see okay. on the order with with slash NM that's with natural mother. Yeah, I wasn't asking about that. I that's was asking so. about the suspension of parenting time. All I want to do that, is see my kid. Like, okay, ma'am, ma'am, I'm telling you, a judge. I understand that you want to see your son, but a judge on May 31st. So you're going to have to make sure to appear with Judge Harrison. Is she doing that via Zoom, guys, or is that via in person? How are you guys doing I, that? In person, sir. I don't have a license, so it has to be via Zoom. I'm not going to be so late. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. You can't, ma'am, if you have not call the probate court because I can't give you permission to, you can't tell them to do it via Zoom. Harrison, you're going to be here. Okay. I'll be there. What, what city do you live in? Warren. Okay. So Warren's not that far away to be able to find a way to get here by, by, by bus or something. Just make sure. But if you want to see if Judge will let you be via Zoom, you're going to have to call the probate court okay. um, and ask Judge Harrison's staff. And you, she has a clerk. You can call there and see if they will give you any all appearing in person. It's up to you to figure out if the judge says no, then she's the boss. You got to come in person. All right. So I'm going to indicate that right now there's this order to um, should the guardianship be upheld by the probate court on July 10th. Uh, Judge Harrison shall decide if she wants the custody case, the custody matter assigned to her, or would like it to proceed with Judge Dennings. And guys, that's just a note. I'm going to send this over to the probate court, um, a copy of this order as well, so they have it. Um, but basically, make sure you peer up. I'm going to put three, both parties um, and the guardian were strongly advised to appear at the July 10th, 2023 hearing to express their position to Judge Harrison. Am I, Your Honor, am I allowed to bring um, like my support that I have, like friends, family? Am I allowed to bring them to speak on my behalf? Uh, you can bring people. I can't assure you that the judge will let them talk, but you, people, third parties are allowed to come to the court. The judge has a large courtroom. They can sit there. It's up to her to decide if she'll let you call witnesses or not. But okay. you don't get in trouble if you bring people. But it's up to the judge to decide 
um, how many people can be in her courtroom and whether or not you can call them as witnesses. But if they want to come yeah. um, and you can I further have, require us to judge Har judge Harrison's staff and I have there and say, I want to bring people. Uh, my mom received yeah. SSI and SSD. She has like a lot of health issues. Um, mm -hmm. So I was just wondering how, like how she's going to take care of Michael um, and like stuff. She's like older and she has like a lot of health issues. Well, how, how old is Holt? So ma'am, how are you, ma'am? How old are I'm you, ma'am? Yeah, how she's old? got a lot of health issues. Like she can't breathe barely. And she you said, ma'am, you said, you said, you said 50? I'm 53, sir. 11, All right. eight, so six, I get, nine. Eight. Okay, so I guess I'm old too, because I'm 53 too. So I guess I'm really old as well, so. No, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I meant like when I did would reach out to my mom for help or something because she has not been helpful whatsoever. Just she's just so she 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 already went in. She, no, no, so you she's can just quit acting like that. She's always told so me I'm important. I'm important. Ma'am, you can you and can. My mom has I, to I, do. My advice is to tell Judge Judge Harrison. She smells crap. Tell Judge Harrison on July 10th of her life and stole my social security check my whole life. And and, so and tell, that's what she does, and that's that what she's up. going to do to my son. Take that, and why is take Ryan Fugate, her ex-husband, living in that home with her? Okay. Who's the take alcoholic that and a up. truck driver? Take take that up with Judge Harrison. Take a notepad. Make sure you write down everything you want to tell her. This is for Mr. Burcham. This is for your mom. Put down on that notepad everything, all the points you want to take up to Judge Harrison and let Judge Harrison July 10th. So basically, I have okay. to go spend more money, hire an attorney, and sue the shit out of my mother. You don't? Like you, kidnapping my okay. child. And, uh, and give, I don't give illegal advice. Well, all that's right. what's going to So, guys, you, you both have 21 days to object. We're going to email you a copy of this order and the objection procedure. Do you have the have right procedural email for me? Questions. I hope you are all okay after that one. Miss Cross has no limits, and I understand she is fighting for custody, but biting the hands that feed you will not help. This was another Karen moment courtesy of time served. Night night sleep tight, don't let the Karen bite.